Just and Steve, thank you for inviting Casio to um, your high school. Really appreciate it and the opportunity. So, just thinking back to when you introduced the calculators, what were you looking for when you introduced them? Well, initially, we were introduced to the calculators by Rachel going on the, um, the NAI TAM course. Oh, oh, the TAM course? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. And I think someone suggested you could get someone to come in from Casio and train yeah. us and gave us a two hour. Yeah, it was through conversation. Someone that I knew through town had mentioned it um, when he came to visit. Um, and I just followed up on that and they came and did a couple of hours after school, didn't they? Just with the staff, just, just so we could try it out and explore it a little bit and see if we wanted to spend the extra money on this version. So after that, I think that we discussed it in the department and decided, okay, we, that it probably is worth it because it's going to enable them to do an awful lot. So you decided to use the uh, calculators. Um, was that decision the whole department one? Was it discussion? How, how did that come about? Um, I mean, it was, it was quite a lot of discussion, I think, between predominantly the year-level teachers, I think, um, and kind of think we chatted a lot about what the pros and cons were going to be. I mean, some issues were things were financial and in terms of how we were going to going to do that um, in terms of, you know, as a department, in terms of financially, was thinking about the students and if they were going to be willing to actually pay that price for, for a course. So there was a financial thing that was the first kind of hurdle to come across, but then I think we came to the decision that actually when you look around other subjects, the subjects cost a lot more anyway, and actually it's an investment for a two year course, it's going to get them on that we kind of thought actually we should be okay. So at that um, stage, was there much of a mathematical discussion around the calculators, or was it primarily logistics like finance? Well, I, mean, that, I think the finance was the initial one, then it came down to, um, I think, mathematically wise was, the, the concern about with the extra functionality that you've got on these calculators, was it going to become more about how to use the calculators than it was about mm -hmm. it supporting the learning of the math and thinking, do is the extra functionality going to actually benefit the students? Are we going to spend loads of time figuring out how to use it? Are the students going to just figure out loads of time how to use it, which would cut into the delivery of the curriculum? Um, so was that as an element of concern to think? There's also an element of um are they going to lose the ability to sketch graphs and stats? A financial consideration, as a department you obviously decided to go for that. How have you found that decision two years later? I've been quite impressed with the students yeah. being on board with it. Um, on the whole, students, we've told them this is the calculator we'd like you to buy. Um, so when they look at up initially they think it's going to cost a lot more so from that point of view I think they're quite pleased with the price when they see it. Um, on the whole most students have bought them. Um, there were a couple of students, suspect we've got some people premium students um, and the school has financially paid for some calculators um, and we lend them to them £20 right. and then they, they are going to return them. Um, but that is about three or four in a year group, the majority have just been happy to, to pay for them. So the students see the value. They, yeah. they are quite excited yeah. about them to yeah. be honest. Yeah. They, yeah, we, we, I know I had the, used to use it in my year 11 lesson last mm. year and I had the top set year 11 and so when I get it out they, they were quite, in, there was an interest, they were looking at it, oh can I have a look? And so when it came to the, the fact of buying them, yeah they, they were interested. Yeah, I think it found when Particularly, I think with the, with the current year 13 to the first year we went through it, it was a kind of slow burner to start with. But then once students started to get it, I think other ones noticed it. And then, I mean, we did introduce a big chunk of actually kind of specific lessons, didn't we? Because that was one of the ways. We yeah, at the beginning of last year, we we uh, used the MEI resources yeah. from right. Integra. Yeah. That yeah, I talked yeah. about, yeah, yeah, and um, we tried to have specific calculate what one or two hours worth of specific calculator lessons at the beginning of the so, year. Yeah. Um, we got a loan set we, at that time from again through Casio, because at that time trying to get the students to buy them, get them on board. So we thought well, we managed to get a loan set that we could then use, and then we ran these sessions with our group. So, so is that it's a bit like creating <coughs> buzz, yeah. Yeah. being yeah. helped on the yeah. ground by the discount and yeah. by the loan set, yeah. by the training? I think the board. training and the loan set really did help. Yeah. Because I think otherwise we would have been very much in the dark about what it was and whether we'd be willing to go for it or not. And I think I don't think we should have done. Having a bit of a try with it to yeah. see if they wanted to invest in it. So thinking about the practical considerations, moving to your second point, which is your concern that as a department you might spend a lot of time just learning the calculator and how to apply it. How is training and your experience being for that? 
Um, I said, I think initial turn we had before the decision kind of helped because we'd all seen it before and then when, <clears throat> when the kind of year started we, we, we knew sort of what they looked like and, and which kind of they did. Um, and I think once the students did it and we actually ran those sessions and I think we used the resources ourselves and um, as teachers to run through. Um, and I think through that process I did actually find that actually that they weren't just a, almost like an instruction booklet that you get with a washing machine and mm -hmm. tells you how to use it. Actually the way they had been constructed, I think with MAI, actually there were some good learning points like today. The tasks had actual key maths learning points within them. And it wasn't just about if you want to do this, you press this string of buttons. It was here's a problem, yes here are some buttons you need to press in order to create this, however think about it and do that process. I think we found the value in that and I think the students found the value in that when we did them um, and we were able to again in those lessons provide that teaching input at the same time and actually realise that oh, we can use them and get maths out of it at the same time. How did that address your other concern that the student might de skill when using these calculators? I suppose it gave us an insight into, into how we would use them in a lesson. So kind of the fact that it wasn't just that it was purely the use of that, but it was about the fact of we'd look at what we were planning for a lesson anyway and integrate what we did with the calculators into it. I mean, I think what we kind of found from that point of view is that this, I think that there still is a mix. I think some of the students, again, use their calculators to supplement their learning and use it as a tool to either check what they've done or use it as a tool to instigate solving a problem. So kind of solving a new sort of equation, they might plot the graph on there, try and look at a relationship before then trying to do it algebraically and kind of look at it that way around. I think that's still a sort of a way to go on it. Um, I think you know, some of these tasks that we've done, sort of investigational style, um, and it's the questions you kind of ask following it. So where a question maybe before would have taken them a lot longer, although it's, they don't have to take so long to do it because they can do one here, it's then what you are asking them after that to assess their understanding of what they've done. So as opposed mm. to just plot the graph, it's then saying, well, what does that show you? What have you learned? So if you just, for example, introducing something like quadratics, which you would probably do lower down, that enables them to experiment with things and investigate things. And then it's, but what do you ask following that? Mm. So they can, you can do the two, or you can investigate and get them to learn through the calculator. And so taking those points, thinking then about the impact on the students and their confidence, what sort of observations do you have on that? I think my confidence in it sometimes rubs off on them and I think I've become more confident. Um, their confidence has gradually grown. Um, and those I think that only have that calculator with them when they come into a lesson, have, their confidence has grown more than those that have bring along their other one. We've also had the using the emulator as well help my confidence as well in teaching the class and the thing. It can be difficult if you've got the one in front of you and you've got 12 students and some of them are quicker with technology than others naturally and it's difficult like with anything practical to go around and do one by one but having the emulator which we had does help because they can see what you're doing. So, so you guys are obviously um, keen to um, investigate how the they can help with learning and how they can possibly make more teaching job easier. How is the rest of the department? Um, you get those who will kind of go full on into it and just plow on and use it um, and use it all the time and integrate it into lessons a lot. Whereas others, again, it's more, it's there and you know things might be happening and sort of make use of it here and there and kind of go on. We do have quite a good communication around the department yeah. as well, you know, if I come across something I can that sometimes I can't quite find it or send emails yeah. out to each other and go, has anyone else figured out how yeah. to do this on this and you know just sort of have casual conversation about it and yeah. in meetings or just in, in passing which I think is quite useful so I think the atmosphere around yeah. it is, it's is positive. Been positive. But you've mentioned support like the emulator, like the training, like the loan set. Is the continuing support like right today's session in terms of demonstrating how to use it? Is that sort of thing important? I think today's session has been excellent. I think it's really helped staff and students mm. so far. And for lots of reasons, really. Yeah. I, think part of it is, it, I think even the fact of actually just getting our year 12s and 13s in a room together and actually see sort of you know the hybrid mathematicians at, at work as a, as a group. Yeah. Um, with the foot, you know, with the kind of calculators there, but actually, kind of maths was at the core of it. It mm. wasn't just a session, that, like you say, of playing around and making some pretty pictures. We were actually doing some challenging maths that all of them got some challenge out of. 
And I think that was a key element I think, the engagement for, for the students is actually that they were challenged mathematically and that the, the calculators were there to help support that learning. Mm. Um, and because you know, normally you do teach them in groups of 10, 12, mm. kind of in our rooms, yeah. sometimes in isolation, where actually we had an opportunity for us all to come together mm. as math teachers yeah. and all of the students would see four or five of us circulating around. Um, and us trying it. And, and us yeah, trying it out and actually well. working it with them. Um, the kind of element of us, again, the actual way of in it with them. Um, I think their confidence today definitely grew. Um, not necessarily those that were already confident, but those that were a little bit unsure mm. um, and just didn't know sort of basic things. Having that time to just play with it and have somebody next to them sometimes that knew more, mm. or us, or just somebody to point things out to them. Um, just in generally, just um, navigating around it even, um, that helps. I'm glad the uh, day went well for you, as teachers, and also more particularly perhaps your students. Um, but thank you all very much for, um, for hosting us uh, today.